Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frank and welcome to Club Foodie. Every country has its own traditional dishes, and today I picked Great Britain. There are so many recipes to choose from, but I had to make only one for this video. So I've decided on fish and chips. Actually, not really on the chips, but on the fish. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my beer batter fish for fish and chips. It is very easy to make and the results are amazingly delicious. It is a great simple recipe that you can enjoy at home anytime you feel for a British meal. So my friends, let's get cooking. The first thing we have to do is to make the batter. So in a large mixing bowl, we'll combine flour, 12 ounces of beer, and we'll mix the ingredients before adding malt vinegar and hot paprika. We'll whisk again to make sure all the ingredients are very well combined. Then we'll place a towel over the bowl and let it rest for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, in a large shallow plate, we'll combine flour, old base seasoning, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll stir the ingredients until well blended and set aside. Also, let's not forget to stir the deep fryer so the temperature has time to reach 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that the batter has been sitting for half an hour, we'll dredge the fish fillet in a seasoned flour and shake up the excess. We'll place it on a plate while we're doing the other fillets. We'll move on to the batter and taking one floured filet at a time, we'll dip it in the batter, making sure it's very well coated. We'll lift it up so the batter runs up. We'll drop one fish filet at a time in the hot oil, gently moving back and forth before letting go. The reason for this is so the fish floats instead of sinking. By the way, don't overcrowd your deep fryer, okay? So we'll cook them for six or seven minutes, turning them gently a couple times until they are a nice, even golden brown. We'll take them out from the deep fryer and hold for a few seconds to let the oil drip off. We'll place them on a plate and transfer into a 200 degree preheated oven while we're frying the others. A word of advice, place a rack inside the plate so they don't get soggy. There were so many things going on at once that I almost forgot the rack, but behind the scene, I did place one in my plate. And my friends, this is our beer batter fish for the fish and chips. This batter is light and flavorful, and it gives that crispiness that you want when you make fish and chips. You can use this batter with cod, halibut, pollock, or in this video, red snapper. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!